You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even...
even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... Here, guys, you're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another uh, run in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zip line. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. I'm gonna wee burger will leave the ass. <coughs> <laughs> Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool, well, one thumb. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay, and it was here on a strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing, not that I want to go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Well, explore bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse. This fool. Well, one thumb. One available thumb. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island, all alone, with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing, not that I want to go back because I don't, 
But even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Oh, explore bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TBH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay, we're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. He's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor, and what doesn't kill you will make you stronger.
this is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tots. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing, what the hell. I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard, it won't know what hit it. First, we gotta get there, and there's still so much to talk about. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place... Seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers.
bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. There's something up there and it is not gonna make me jump I can promise you that much <sighs> goodbye cruel world the final curtain is calling and there's no time to run on Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, 
man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Damn. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Cops with guns. We need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help, my friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are. So it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now, and we really need backup. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Okay. What's wrong? Dead. Well, did you hang up? How could I have hung up? I don't know. You know, maybe you slipped and... Hung up or something. Do you know how phones work? Yeah, of course. Real phones, not cell phones? Do you know how phones work? Okay, well, you broke it. I did not. <sighs> okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. 
Let's let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but... That's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> Am I interrupting something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it.
Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> Why do you come? Why do you come if you've not found my cards? There are truths in the cards. Truths that can only be revealed if you bring them to me. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? Are you holding up? I'm. Uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy. You're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. All right. They're off to find a radio or something. All right. They're off to find a radio or something. What's with the um? Uh, oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so, just in case. Oh, what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Did anybody else hear that? Shh. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. We don't know what's out there. It could be dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna check it out.
No sign of them. When you find them, muddle. And keep me posted, Bobby. This may not be, like, the best time per se, but, like... What? Yeah, so, like, I was just, you know, thinking about, like, the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and, well, like, now that summer's over and, you know, is that, like, the last time we're going to see each other, you know? Uh, sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? Hey, don't worry about Caitlin, she's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick, I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? I was misreading the situation back there, but kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean, of course I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. <laughs> I did want it to happen, though. Uh, um, I, You can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> Just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. <sighs> what is going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. It's okay, I got this. God. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide.
So the radio hut has like an actual radio? I thought it was just... Oh yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station actually. Um, uh, it, you know, I mean, it, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything. And, you know, nowadays everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Technology it giveth and it taketh. So is is that something like that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like uh, DJ or music, or something. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, not, not here. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit, by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yet, like, you know, whatever, man, it's pretty cool, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm. Let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense.
All good? All good? This place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC, okay? Okay. okay. Let me get this set up. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever so I think the range is about a mile how do you even know all this stuff uh, I just kind of picked it up hmm. the tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on well if you like I could show you the ropes like a class yeah, it's easy. Like, climbing. Sign me up, Teach. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power-up. Um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kinda janky looking, but... It's worth giving a shot. So... We can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS, uh, this is a, an emergency, S save our ship, come on down, please help us. Did I do good? Was that? Swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears, but... Oh my god. All right, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to the Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know. Hold on. Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Um now.
can't be sure they were talking about us. Uh, I don't know. I, it really, really sounded like they were. But that's... That's not possible, right? Oh, shit. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey, shit. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck, no. Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get, uh, get into a cabin now. Go, go. Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. Is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off? Uh... Well, it, yeah, I mean, if it, if it has hearing like a dog, maybe, it, we, we can play like a, like a really high-pitched feedback loop and just blast it. And, and, I mean, it would hurt like hell, but, you know. Do it. Okay, come on, Dylan. Let's do this. 
Um, it's almost. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah. Something missing. I, what's missing? Oh crap! I pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Go, quickly. Get the wire, get the wire. What? Get the wire. The thing, get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thing. Uh, keep pressure on it. Uh. What do I do, what do I do? The button, the button. We blew the speaker. Uh, it did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> oh, right. oh, fuck my hand. Right, right. Okay. Uh, just hold on. 
Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea. Is it safe? I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. What the hell was going on at... Oh my god! Dylan, what happened? Oh, um, I'm okay. I, I, I mean, I'm not, um, but it's, it doesn't, doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit. Uh. Did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Ah, <sighs> oh, shit, Dylan, what is that? You're back. Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. Here we have the hermit. With the hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but reflection, too. Perhaps given some thought. The hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. But that all depends on your actions, not his. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? spend so much time looking toward the future, 
It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Emma! Jesus Christ. Jesus! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, man. God, this night sucks ass. Jacob! Emma, is that you? this. Well, that bodes ill. There's something on here. Jesus Christ! Oh my God, no way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> Okay, some like bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. 
Okay. Um, well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself. You oh, know? don't be a dick. You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. No, you're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mm, got quite the funky bouquet. No offense. Um, okay. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> you know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Oh, shit, okay, you know what? You're right, okay? You're right. I'm sorry. Ugh, you're so annoying. Oh my god, can we please not do this right now? Okay, seriously? I literally came looking for you as soon as I heard there was something out here. Or things? Like plural? Wait, really?
is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Whoa. Nick, what are you? I taste you. Hey. Come here. Oh, Nick, what the hell? Oh, get off. Oh, watch out, Nick. Get off. I do. I... I don't know. He's so cold. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. I'm sorry.
moving so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. Look, this is all I've got left from the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens. For the police. Yeah. Dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. Maybe like photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? This place was so different like 12 hours ago. I wonder where Caleb is. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like 
Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Abby? Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you like me? Nick. Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. That's such a... Oh, such a... Such... what? That's such a cop-out answer. <sighs> Abby? Okay. Why didn't you like me, Abby? Nick, I do like you. No, no you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. God, I sure know how to pick up. What? Really very smart, aren't you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, Abby! Uh. Abby, everything okay? Holy shit.
Bobby, have you moved in?
<sighs> okay, so if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go to the lodge. Hmm. Ryan's stories again. I had no idea kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors.
cuts you if you know about. I've never done this before, Pop. Let's do it fast. That's it. God damn. God damn these <laughs> fucking kids. Son, what? Hey, stop! Stop squirming! Give me the train. Is she bit, huh? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh! oh. Doesn't feel safe. Abby. Killed him. <sighs> I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest.
Abby, he was going to hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't... I don't know that for sure. I do. No. No. It was you or him. And, well, that definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Don't let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. Okay. I'm gonna open the door, slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. Here we are again. Just... You and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? The moon. How poignant. Tonight of all nights to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? go then. Top, top. One down, remember. It's not terribly exciting. So, uh, so, uh, 
Why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Uh. Why are we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp. And we're broke. Mm hmm. Okay, Sheriff. Hack it. Wait, hack it? Like, Chris hack it? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is... Is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy.
Let's go. Hey. Hey, you asshole. You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. Okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... More or less intact, I think. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked... The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell and you're gone. And now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we... Drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Sorry, sir. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend? All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey! Let's get go. the fuck off! Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling! Max, calm down. You're only making up worse. Laura. What the hell did you do to her? Shut up. something in here you can use. What's this? Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Do it. 
Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. The second you get out. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hey! What the fuck is that supposed to mean, asshole? Hey, you can't just leave us in here! Hey! Come back! Fuck! Are you okay? It's just a foot. It'll heal. I meant the interrogation. Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some... kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop, either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever, Max. You can't just hold us here forever. He didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that! Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna... Um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. 
You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I, I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max, what the fuck? I don't know, what do you want me to say? I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great, sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, Whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. What if, uh... Okay, no. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your... Goddamn mine? Werewol- Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies? Aliens? 
time hopping Draculas. I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas. Ryan, right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max, we just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. <laughs> So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty-ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Okay, so let's say we get on his good side. 
What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. So... Alright, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's gotta have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey! T-Money! Can I call you T-Money? Why? You can call me Officer Hackett. Like, as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, T-Money. Lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. Really? Seven? Failure to comply. Trespassing. Dangerous driving. Breaking and entering. Resisting arrest. Endangering local wildlife. And you keep calling me names. Yeah, but aside from all that... It... Okay. Look. There's no reason why we can't change things. Why does it all have to be so ugly all the time? Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. Have a seat. Ah! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. 
Jeez. Don't get too close. T, come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Help! Hey, he's got his whole prisoner at the police station! Help us! Who was that? Over. Nothing. On my way. Over. That was pretty stupid. Hey, you can't just leave me here! Yes, I can. Yeah, right. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just don't feel so good. Um, what do you need? What can I do to help? Oh, it's just hot. Are you hot? Well, I'm kind of stuck next to this big-ass pipe, so I'm not exactly cool. Just stay back, okay? You shouldn't be this close. There's not a lot I can do about that right now. Max? Max? Tell me what's going on! Depth perception. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding.
see hiding. Locked. Figures. And I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. What are you hiding, Travis? Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. Hello? Not so much a hint as a slap in the face. to rest soon. Whoever was wearing this can't be doing too well. This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell.
July 7th. I need to lie down. And month, but no year. In month, but no year. Come on, Laura, think. I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. 
Why didn't you run? We've got unfinished business. Like what? Like how you're gonna tell me exactly just what the fuck is really going on here. Why would I do that? Because I could be halfway home by now. But I'm not. Because I have to help Max. Maybe I can help you too. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. Me too. Happy? I'll brew some coffee. What's this? An education. Watch. <clears throat> What's this? An education. Watch. Nice job cleaning up. The eye, I mean. It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be. Stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know, doesn't mean you know, you know? Uh, what? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're going to have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really.
we're going to end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. So, how is your family involved? My family... is down at the bottom of a well. What? Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like... Every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well, and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope. How can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. If you pull on that rope, and you're just going to fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you, you're the one at the top of the well with a rope, and... Yes. I thought that was obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Just forget it. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first. When moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Hmm kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver. It has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. So wait, if Max got me in the eye, doesn't that mean I'm infected now too? No. Scratches don't do it. Only bites. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science.
Look. Take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him. About the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty, lying, kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye? Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. He said, let me in there. Chris! I know they're in there. Who? The counselor. Show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. I fucking bit one of them. Chris, what's I supposed to do? <sighs> what was that? Me. I'm telling mom. Take your lucky stars wasn't silver. What's your plan? You can't keep them here forever. I'm handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. And are those know hikers? And that, that, that fucking journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we gonna do now? Whatever happened to... We're all in this together. Shh, man. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother! God, it's so obvious! If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. 
Jesus, Lord, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Hey! Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Uh, Laura? Uh, Laura, are you okay? God damn it. What the hell's going on? Laura! Laura? Laura, are you okay? God damn it. What the hell's going on? Laura? I didn't think you were really sick. Well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> we should go before he wakes yeah. up. We should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess he won't be needing this anymore. Hey. I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> Hell yeah, we are. That's two months we'll never get back, but for now, we're one step closer to going home. And when is that? Tonight. Going to Hackett's quarry, and we're killing Chris Hackett.
way here to the camp. Left Max at the island, left Max at the island. Seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. Water and all. That's it. That's the story. Don't all jump in at the same time. Wait. The island? Like, like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to mean? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. Hello? So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Kaylee Hackett, Chris's daughter. Kaylee Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? He tried. I got away. 
I need to end this. We don't have much time. an animal. Lots of it. I mean, not really, but you could get some, probably. Please, <laughs> just let me go, please. I'm so sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ! That's too, Bobby. Hey! Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! It's always nice to see. Isn't it fun delving into the past? They're a bad lot, aren't they? Shall we have a look at what you found?
Nothing to show, nothing to see. What more do you want me to say? Find the cards or stumble around in the dark. Choice is yours. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path, of course. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. Wow, rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. Uh, Caitlin? What do I do? Oh, wow, real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up. <sighs> oh, no way. I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Look, just... Think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. Hold up. You, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? It's the ghost story he told us about, right, Caitlin? This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening, and you're all in it. Your bracelet. What are you doing? I'm trying to help. Worst case scenario, this should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. But what if it's Nick or someone? Like I said, worst case scenario. Ryan, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? And don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any closer we're gonna have to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh... Yeah, what they said. I'm gonna show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. Shut up. Fine, do whatever you want. 
But you saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? Have you actually been there before? I mean, no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. H, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit, and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. Why are you like this? Look, I don't think anybody knows anybody, not really. Well, I know Mr. H, and, and he never hurt any of us. Well, I know for a fact he's not the good guy you think he is. All he does is try to help people. That's what his whole camp is all about, to help the kids. Yeah, I don't doubt it. You know what I have to do, right? I know. But only if we can't talk to him. If we can't find another way. Lead the way. There it is. Hack your house. So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there, but if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura, Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on the timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. I got you. Careful, let's get it going. Your breath, but shuns clear water. Right. Oh my God, Laura! Jesus, Mary, and jazz hands. Here's a thought. 
What are you doing? Relax. Look. What big eyes you have, Grandma? No shit! Can you see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow? Shit. We haven't got much time. This must be part of the old working quarry. Makes sense. These must have been from the quarry days. No duh. No one's been down here for years. Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The hag of Hackett's quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. Canada. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. Careful. Jeez. Just look at this place. Do you think, actually, something is in here with us? Either that, or this route isn't as disused as we thought. A long way down.
Whoa. Burr's cave out. <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. So what's your deal then? What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? You know that's not what I mean. I've been coming here for years. You get to know a place and it feels like a second home, you know? I mean, until now. What about your friend, uh, Caitlin, is that her name? It seems like she looks up to you. Yeah, she... she has the hots for me. Dylan does too. Oh, modesty, thy name is Ryan. I'm not being smug about it, it's just a fact. They're not exactly secretive about it. So, what about you? Who do you like more? I don't know. Maybe neither. This way. I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here. Up to you. Thanks for your help. You had it under control. Promising. Careful. Splinters. Thanks. I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol. No prohibition. These are rum running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. Well, I guess the hackets were bootleggers. That makes sense. I guess when the quarries are done, they branched out. Come on, time travel later. You think this is it? Uh, beach me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we?
the hell happened here?